Pat. Um, Pat's, you know, got the headphones on. He's jamming out. So I'm unfortunately be able, unable to really participate fully in today's video because he's rocking and rolling to his sick beats and his sick music, uh, which includes, of course, the song uh, Hark the Herald Angel Sings, which is crazy underrated because people, people think it's just like a corny Christmas song. But that's not right. It's not. It's really a very beautiful song. It's, it is one of the best songs I think ever written in terms of like capturing what can be very beautiful about Christianity, which I know is some of you don't <laughs> won't, won't like very much. But I mean, regardless of your opinions on the religion, I feel like I feel like in a lot of ways, if you didn't grow up around the religion, which many people now haven't, it can be very difficult, I think, to understand what makes it appealing to people. Because on the, on the surface, a lot of it seems so stupid. You know, you go to this like weird building every Sunday and you like hang out for a few hours like singing weird songs. But I feel like more than most hymns, Hark the Herald Angels Sings really like captures like why why it means so much to so many people. And I feel like if you don't if you listen to it without the baggage thing, oh this is a cheesy ass song they play in the mall on Christmas. I don't know, I feel like it really does get at the core of it. It gets that sort of the beauty of the idea of following and like being kind of assumed by Christ and his movement. And the, the beauty and joy that Jesus brings to people. And I feel like it's, it's difficult to just say, it's, even people can say, oh yeah, my faith brings me great joy or whatever. But like, I think it, it's, I think the like joy and, and like satisfaction that Christianity brings to some people is something that really can't adequately be conveyed, conveyed only through words. And that's why I think Amazing Grace and Hark the Herald Angel, Herald Angel Sings are such great songs. Because I feel like they really do kind of convey some of that. I think if you really just kind of like relax your mind a little bit and just like try to listen to it and try to feel what they're trying to put across, you really kind of get it. But of course the problem is, both with the song, is that like most of the versions you're going to hear of it out there, in my opinion, don't capture like what it feels like to have a song sung like in a church, and an essential element that's always missing when you hear like commercially produced recordings of hymns is they sound too fucking good. Like the, like the point of hymns is they don't sound good, really. Like at its core, like I think a hymn is experienced properly in a church uh, that like looks like shit and is populated by people who can't sing because it gets at the core of what it's all supposed to be about. And like about how it's about the brotherhood of believers, how it's about, you know, the sh shared community of faith, and about how it's not a song that's meant to really be, like, even necessarily, like, good in a traditional sense. You're supposed to, like, share the experience of singing together, and part of that experience is most of you suck at it and can't do it right. <laughs> and that's something that I think people... That's something I, that's something probably I think when people... Like, of course, there's something also very beautiful about hearing, like, very, very good like, renditions of gospel songs. But I think... If you've never experienced a gospel, like, I mean, not a gospel, it's hymns, if you've never experienced a hymn, like, in a church being sung by people who can't sing, I think you really haven't experienced hymns at all. I think you really don't get what they mean to some people. And that's why I think everyone should at least once in their life hear Hark the Herald Angels sing, sung by, like, a normal congregation of a bunch of old people who can't sing, because if you haven't heard that, you don't get it. You just don't. And that's why Pat's rocking out right now. So he so he can really get the experience.